Hey guys, here are some questions on um, efficiency, some examples, and then how to calculate it. We've got an easy, medium, and hard. If you want a load more examples like this, pop over to my classroom channel where there are loads of questions. Not everything is 100% efficient. As much as we'd love it to be, there is always going to be wasted energy. This camera, for example, the useful energy is going to be the light energy, but it's also going to generate heat, which is going to be wasted. And, you know, it's going to generate some um, sounds energy as well, which is, which is also going to be wasted. The only really useful energy here is going to be the light, uh, the light energy. If we look at these other things, the useful energy um, from the kettle is going to be the heat. The wasted energy is going to be the sound. And we could argue whether this light down here was useful or not useful. Um, but, you know, it doesn't go towards the main purpose of heating up the um, water. Here we have a light bulb. Energy in is going to be electrical. The useful energy is going to be the light. The wasted is going to be heat and sound. Here we have some um, wind turbines. The energy in is going to be kinetic energy. The energy out, the useful energy out, is going to be electrical energy. But the wasted energy, there is going to be some heat and again some sound. When we are looking at calculations for energy efficiency, what we take is the useful and we divide it by the total. Now I've left it as useful total because um, some examples have the useful power over total power. Some examples have useful energy over total energy. Now your units have to correlate. So for power, we need to have it in watts. And for energy, it needs to be in joules, but efficiency doesn't actually have any units. You can do it as a decimal or you can do it as a percentage. Both are absolutely fine. Now we need to be able to rearrange these equations to work out what total is and what useful is. So that's how we find efficiency. If we were going to find total, we could say that, I'm just going to use Efficiency equals useful over total, so I don't have to write everything out. Efficiency equals useful over total. To get um, total up to the other side, we need to times it. So efficiency times total equals useful. And then if we want to find total, we can just divide by efficiency. So total equals useful divided by efficiency. If we wanted to find useful, Efficiency equals useful over total. If we can just times up by time, so efficiency times total equals useful. So for these, I'm going to follow my rules for um, answering math questions. If you're not familiar with those, go and check out my video on how to answer basically any question you come across in math. So total amount of energy going into the hairdryer is 28. So that is our total. The useful energy coming out is 15. That is our useful. So we have efficiency equals useful over total. Efficiency equals 15, which is our useful, over 28, which is our total, which is going to equal 0 0.54. Um, you can leave that as a decimal or you can return that into percentage depending on what your example is looking for or depending on what um, the question is asking. A mobile phone gives out 35 of light, 47 of heat and 17 of sound energy. Calculate the efficiency. So if you think about a mobile phone, light is useful, heat is wasted and sound is wasted. 
uh, useful, sorry, useful, useful. So our equation is efficiency equals useful over total. Now our useful energy, well there's 35 from light plus 17 from sound. And our total energy, 35 from light, 47 from heat and 17 from sound. Um, add all that up is going to give us 52 over 99. Working that out, that's going to give us 0 0.53 as the efficiency for the mobile phone. If the computer is 67% efficient, so that is our efficiency, and gives out 79 joules of light, so that is going to be useful in a computer. 42 of sound, that is going to be useful in a computer. And 12 of kinetic, now that is going to be useful in a computer because we need the fan to be going around to cool it down. Because it produces a lot of heat energy, which is going to be our wasted energy. So efficiency equals useful over total. So our efficiency is 0.67. Useful is 79 plus 42 plus 12 over total. Um, so that would give us 133 as that value there. So just rearranging the equation, we are going to get, uh, let me do it over here, efficiency equals useful over total. Efficiency times total equals useful. Total equals useful over efficiency. So we can say now our new equation is total equals useful over efficiency. Our total is what we're trying to find out. Our useful is 133. Our efficiency is 0.67 which is going to give us a value of 198.5 joules.